In the previous video we had a presentation of the layout of Gumblebee and Modellion Bonus Center. Since this is a public layout with regular opening hours, I will review it. I mean they have their own entry on TripAdvisor. I would never review a private or club layout as they are not meant to be shown to the public on a regular basis. Criticism in that review is meant to improve the layout to give the visitors an even better experience. So, and if you don't agree with my review, please write it down in the comment. And in case there are huge changes in the Model Railroad Center, I will do a new review at a later point. I will review the layout in five categories, which is layout, which is the layout itself and the facilities and the personnel, then the trains, then landscape and details, activities and what you can do around the layout, and the location. Category layout. The layout is big, you can walk around the layout so you won't see everything at once. Also the train runs on different levels. The diorama of the old town of Frederiksgatter has a very high quality, but it's completely static. Just adding some more lights and it would brought it to the next level. Unfortunately the track plan of the layout doesn't make much sense. Why is there a locomotive shed on the other side of a tunnel? Why is this factory connected to a double track line? A layout of that size should not have st steep turnouts or tight radiuses. Also some stuff doesn't seem to work on the layout, like some sidelines, and it even seems that once there was a follow car system. The regular personnel doesn't seem to be able to fix advanced problems. The layout is also getting old and would need some love and care. There hasn't been much changed since section 2 was opened in 2012, but section 3 is coming soon. The owner Arne and the other guys want to give you a very good time. Also the pricing is very competitive for Norway. The owner want to create interest in model railroad and I think that goal is achieved. All above reason I will only give 3 stars for the layout. Category trains. Let's formulate it diplomatically. There are some trains running. But there are not enough trains on the layout and you really have to look for the trains. Sometimes we had to wait several minutes until one passed. There should be always a train running in the view. Turn your head and you see another one. If they don't want to be the largest layout of Scandinavia, they should have more trains on the layout. We counted 8 or 9 trains. There should be between 30 and 40 with backups in case something breaks down. The length of the trains is embarrassingly short, really two cars. The largest layer doesn't apply to the length of the trains either. There are apparently some operational reasons for that, but I don't accept this kind of excuses. This was probably due to bad testing during construction. By the way, kids like to count cars on long trains. I have seen them do that on my layout all the time. And at last, the combination of the cars and locomotive on certain trains is not good. Really, a German BR 103 with Norwegian cars, even 9 year old Thierry could have done that better. It used to be better in 2017 when I filmed there for the first time. Unfortunately, I have to give only one star for the trains. But the problem can easily be solved by stop being a socialist and singing like a businessman. 50,000 times free drinks, hot dogs and rides on tourist train is a lot of money which can be used on more trains. Category Landscape the landscape is consistent over the whole layout. There are some small things which are nicely detailed like the beer garden, the American car club and the car accident. On the other hand there are not so many different themes like season, flat versus mountains. Some buildings are nice but many have still the plastic look. Some places have light not, but not every building. The, the ambient light is static so all the installed street light will never shine. The old time diorama is the most unique thing on the center. I will give 3 stars for landscaping. Activities. Children can get a stool to climb to see the layout. There are two small layouts where children can run a train. In one place there is a button to start the music. They also have a tourist range which seems to be very popular. Riddles like can't all blue cars or, or such are not existent. This could easily keep the children busy for a couple of hours when they have to search the lay layout for certain details. I will give 3 stars but 4 can easily be achievable. Location. Here I will have to give the full 5 stars. It is located centrally in the biggest tourist attraction of southeastern Norway. There are plenty of parking places right in front of it. It, ac it is accessible by public transport. There are buses and the passengers ferry over the Gloma rivers. You can easily come from Oslo for a day trip. 
there are plenty of other sites to visit around the center like the city walls, the museum, the church. There are plenty of small shops, art gallery, restaurants and cafe nearby. So non-enthusiasts will still get something to do and see if they come here. The founder Arne Börsen made a very wise move when he chose to open the center at this location. Final words, if you come to Frederikstad you should definitely visit the center. The entry price is very cheap for more wear. Most model railroaders will be disappointed as they accept a bit more. Family with children will definitely have a good time. People who never have seen a big layout will be impressed. So I will give the current status an average rating of 3 stars. Four stars can be achieved in fixing the train issues. Please check the description in case something changes after I made this video.